Imagine learning to surf on monster waves before you could even walk. That's John John's childhood, the man who started surfing at just six months old. From spending his childhood years riding Pacific waves on the shores of Hawaii's North Shore to his many victories around the world, John 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 Alexander Florence is a surfing legend. His nickname John John came from John F. Kennedy Jr., who was also called John John during his father's time in office. He was named after John F. Kennedy Jr. John John's surfing journey started right from birth. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii, he grew up in Halaiwa in an oceanside house at Bonsai Pipeline. His mother, an amazing surfer herself, first put John John on a surfboard at six months old. By the time he was five, John John was riding a surfboard on his own. And as surfers around the world know, the North Shore of Hawaii is known for its big waves. So John John Florence grew up riding some of the most challenging waves in the world. That's about as early as an advantage as you can get in surfing. And as it turned out, John John maximized this advantage. At eight years old, he started competing in amateur competitions. It didn't take him any time to become recognized as one of the most promising young surfers in the world. The way John John rides the waves now as a pro surfer has always been with him. He was always able to read and ride waves with natural talent and ease. Now as a pro, watching John John surf, you'll see his style as a seamless fusion of raw power and instinctive flow. The man conquers monstrous waves with finesse, leaving spectators and competitors in awe. His barrel riding is poetry in motion, a dance with the ocean where he displays an uncanny ability to read and react to the ever-changing surf. With his gravity-defying aerial maneuvers, John John has pushed the boundaries of what's possible on a surfboard. Mitch Cruz, after witnessing Florence's performance at the 2014 Billabong Pro Tahiti, had this to say, he makes it look stupidly easy, no matter how big or small the wave is. He is the man out there, rules the lineup and makes everyone look silly. He is the man, and most of us are not. The man did start surfing before he could walk. What did you expect? Competing as a child was easy for John John, and he stood out. Older surfers like legendary Kelly Slater began to recognize Florence's immense talent. Some even might have predicted just how far the young boy might go in the sport if he ever decided to become a professional. It would be interesting to note that John John would eventually place above Kelly Slater a number of times, even winning first place. In 2011, John John did what every surf fan had been expecting and went pro. It wasn't difficult for him to quickly ascend the ranks of the World Surf League WSL. In that year, he ranked 34th in the world. Impressive for a 19-year-old, especially considering that Kelly Slater, Joel Parkinson, and Owen Wright ranked first, second, and third respectively that year. His first standout achievement also came the same year, when he won the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. I mean, how many surfers win their first title in their first professional year? At this point, John John was beginning to make a name for himself and laying the building blocks of his brand and legend. In 2016, just five years after going pro, John John swept the WSL events with spectacular performances, racking up points like it's nobody's business and clinched his first World Surf League Championship title. But he was not done. John John's rise to prominence reached new heights when he achieved an extraordinary feat in 2017. He became the youngest surfer after Kelly Slater to win back-to-back -back World Surf League Championships. But John John wasn't done making history. Remember the triple crown of surfing he won in his debut year? He would also come to dominate that that event, winning the competition five times in a decade. In 2011, 2013, 2016, 2020, and then again in 2021. But Kelly Slater is still the youngest to win back-to-back -back WSLs, and John John did not win the Triple Crown back-to-back. -back. So what he did was find himself a record that nobody had ever broken before him to break. One of the most notable achievements in John John's career, and perhaps a feat that spoke to the whole world of his sheer courage and tremendous skill, is his triumph in the Eddie Aikau Big Wave International. The Eddie Aikau Big Wave International is quite literally known for its big waves and tough conditions. How tough, you ask? No surfer has ever won it at the first try. That was until John John. His victory puts him in an elite list of surfers who have ever conquered Eddie Aikau's big waves. At that moment, John John engraved his name in surfing history in gold. Throughout his career, Florence has consistently achieved high rankings in the World Surf League Championship Tour. In 2016 and 2017, he claimed the world title, firmly establishing himself as one of the sport's greatest athletes. In both years, he ranked above surf superstars like Gabriel Medina and Kelly Slater. 
But perhaps the most remarkable story of John Johns is the one about his comeback from the injury he sustained in 2018. In 2018, Florence suffered a serious knee injury that threatened to end his career. The wave stilled and the surfing world held its breath. Just the year before he had won the WSL back to back. Was this to be the end of a promising career? John John underwent surgery and was forced to miss the rest of the year, but he came back in 2019 and qualified for the 2020 Olympics. Florence finished the 2019 WSL Tour ranked 7th, and that's after participating in just 6 out of the 11 events. At the Olympics, Florence reached the third round, but he was eliminated by his teammate Colohe Andino. Yet, he just bounced back in December 2020 by winning the Billabong Pipeline Masters. In an exciting final, he defeated Gabriel Medina to claim the win. However, John John faced another setback in the 2021 season. Injury again? He took an injury at the Boost Mobile Margaret River Pro, and he was unable to compete for most of the year. As a result, Florence finished the season in 11th place. 11th place after half the year? Not bad. But John John's mama did not raise her no quitters. He made another comeback and won at the Michelob Ultra Pure Gold Halewa Challenger in December 2021. Continuing his winning streak, he secured the Triple Crown of Surfing title for a second consecutive year in January 2022, making it the sixth time he's won it. We can agree that this is probably his favorite title. John John Florence had a journey with various sponsors throughout his career. In 2013, he switched from O'Neill to Hurley International. However, in January 2020, Florence announced he was no longer partnering with Hurley. He has since formed partnerships with Machu Picchu Energy, Stance, Futures, Nixon, Dekine, Cliff Bar, Electric, Yeti, and Paisal Surfboards. John John's life goes beyond surfing. He loves sailing, which helps him understand the water better and improves his surfing skills. John John loves riding a board, because he also enjoys skateboarding and snowboarding. His one known hobby that doesn't involve riding something is drawing, which lets him be creative and express himself in a different way. Apart from his hobbies, Florence also launched his own apparel and surf brand called Florence Marine X in 2020, in collaboration with former Hurley owner Bob Hurley. He's also passionate about protecting the environment and co-founded a nonprofit organization called Waterman's Watch. Florence has made notable appearances in several surfing films. Dunn, his first film, received the Surfer Pole 2013 Movie of the Year Award. He also received the Surfer Pole 2013 Best Performance Award for his role in Dunn. Other films featuring Florence include Departure Delayed, Free to Roam, Begin Again, Again, and Again, and View from a Blue Moon, which was the first surf film shot in 4K. Florence also narrated the film Let's Be Frank and released his own series called 12 which chronicled his quest for the first world title. It's undoubtable that John John Florence has had an exciting ride so far, but he's not done yet, and we can all only watch and wait for what John John is going to do next.